100% triple head, ultra mild clown pied. Of course, everything is also possible head for. Hey, what's up guys? It's Austin here and I hope you're having a great day. In today's video, we got an egg cutting clutch and this is clutch 33. I'm really excited for this clutch. The pairing was an ultra mild pied possible head hypo to an Enchi Blade Clown, so we're looking for some triple heads. Before we get into that, huge shout out to American Made Balls. Thanks so much for the really cool shirt, and they're definitely not slacking on the back. Go and check them out if you haven't already, and let's get straight into the egg cutting. Nine eggs over here, so nine chances to hit some really cool triple heads. And no race today. Lord of Lions not here. And we'll start off with this really moldy egg over here. It's just littered with mold on the top, on the sides. And today's day 53, I could already feel the babies inside. So let's get straight into the cutting. First egg. Boom. And it looks like we have an Enchi Blade triple head Ultra Mild Pied Clown. Hopefully we could be very female heavy in this clutch. I'd love to hit a lot of females. I wouldn't be even I wouldn't even be mad if there was no males in the clutch because I can go and buy a male in the future who has a lot more power than just a triple head. So egg number two. Let's go right into it. And it looks like we have a normal triple head. I'm actually gonna go and say that this is a blade, just with how clean the pattern is. I can see some banding over the sides over there, and even a little more blushed out on the head. And that's technically what the blades tend to do. So, boom, an entry blade, and a blade, triple head, hypo clown, wait, triple head, pied clown, ultramel. Egg number three. See what we got here. Would really love to be Enchi heavy. And looks like we have another blade. Once again, we're seeing really clean pattern on the side. A little bit of banding into the dorsal. Definitely not complaining. Make it a little bit of a mess here. We'll clean this up and get onto that next egg. Right over here we have a nice dot on the bottom of the egg and some Coco Mojo on the side. Hopefully we can get another Enchi right here. And ask and you shall receive. Looks like we have an Enchi Blade Triple Het once again. Really happy about that. Set that one aside and I'll just get a new napkin. Egg number five, we have a lot of Coco Mojo. Even looks like it's mixed in with some fairy dust, getting that pink color over there, and even some more mold on the top. Come on. Enchi, Enchi, Enchi is what I like to see. And there we go, we have, looks like a blade. No Enchi in this one, very clean pattern once again. Just the Enchis tend to be a little bit more gold. If you guys take a look over here, it has more of a golden tone. But this one over here looks a little bit more like a normal. Still, very cool snakes. Let's go set that to the side. And I guess it's pretty safe to say now that the father was the ultramopied possible hit hypo. And also that every snake inside of this clutch is also possible head for hypo. That is if the male proves out. And yes, look at that. Another Enchi. This one I'm not too sure about the blade, but definitely an Enchi triple head. And I'm kind of seeing a pattern going on here. Every egg that is on this side so far turned out to be an Enchi. And every one on this side so far turned out to be a blade or a normal. So really cool. Looks like we have five eggs on this side, and I definitely would not be complaining if we got all Enchis. So we got another one with some nice Coco Mojo. Oh, no Coco Mojo, we got some mold. A little bit of Coco Mojo on the side. 
Come on, will the Enchi train continue? And nope, as soon as I mention it, it stops. This does not look like a blade this time. I'm gonna say this one is just a normal. We're having, uh, I'm gonna say this one is just a normal. We're not having that same banding over the dorsal, but really cool. You know what, maybe this one over here will be an Enchi. Let me just clean this up really quick. And we'll get back into this. Egg number eight. Come on. Let's do it, get an Enchi. And nope, looks like one more normal in here. I'm not seeing any banding once again, so I'm not gonna guess blade. Still a triple head Ultramel Pied Clown, possible head for Hypo. And the very last egg, can we do it? Can we get a last Enchi? We got some Coco Mojo on the bottom, a black dot as well. Come on, odds gods, bless us with an Enchi. And no Enchi, but it does look like a blade. We're having some pretty nice banding over and just cleanliness throughout the whole snake. So we got three Enchis, it looks like three normals, and three blade, 100% triple head, Ultramel clown pied, and of course everything is also possible head for Hypo if the male goes and proves out, and we're actually proving him out this year. I paired him to a Hypo pied, so well actually I paired him to a pastel Hypo pied, so hopefully we can hit some Hypopides and pastel hypopides, 100% head for Ultramel, and then make all these possible head for Hypo as well. Super excited, fingers crossed for that one. Comment down below what you thought of this clutch and what you think I should do with them in the future. That's pretty much gonna be it, so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.